Well, he came up to me with this harebrained idea, and I go, you gotta be crazy. There, there's no future in this. A gentleman in South Texas came to me and approached me and said, you know what, you have a knack for detail, you should paint fishing lures. I think fishing lures? Fishing lures. We supply several different tackle stores throughout Texas, everywhere from Lake Fork to Lake Amistad. From Microsoft to Apple to Amazon, some of the biggest businesses in the world started in garages. But for small business owners Jared and Bob Decody, this garage in San Antonio represents a corporate expansion. We started painting lures in um, my parents' kitchen in a cardboard box. And after a while, uh, we surrendered the kitchen and moved to the garage. Because and mom wanted her kitchen table. Mom wanted her kitchen table back. Can't blame her. And so we got to make mama happy. And from their modest headquarters, this father-son team is making a splash in the fishing world with their finely detailed hand-painted fishing lures. Sometimes we even get in a little competition ourselves. <laughs> Because sometimes we do the same fish and we go, I see mine looks better than yours. Basically, lures back in the day, they were actually hand painted on wooden. And as time goes by, we, they mass produce them. So we came back in time to kind of retro style hand painting and put into the detail and the craftsmanship into each lure. You see how it's all smooth there? Yeah. But I want to make one that's translucent to go on that. Well, maybe they shouldn't be, but ideas like detail and craftsmanship have begun to sound old-fashioned. That makes no difference to the Dakotis. They'll take inspiration from anywhere if it will help fool a fish. We did a lot of research on the internet as far as how do the fish see? How many cones are in a fish's eye? So we're going to paint a bass bait totally different from what a catfish bait would be like or a crappie bait They would see be. differently? They see different colors, yes. So you're thinking like a fish? Yes. Fish psychology. Fish psychology 101. That's a lesson we've learned on TCR time and time again. You can find art in the most unlikely of places. And these faux fish lured us in to discover Jared's extensive talent lurking just beneath the surface. My father was a commercial graphic artist when I was growing up, and I was always fascinated with his paint, and so when he was on job sites, he'd let me play with different things. What's cool is that he has the unique ability to paint uh, people, which is very hard to do. He's done a very good job with it, too. I'm quite proud of him. This is my grandmother in the late 30s. It was a black and white photograph, and the actual photograph was very damaged. So I painted this for my mother, for her, and it hang up. And can you get the, oh, there's look like the, the back side of that bill, the bill. Since he was a little kid, Jared has always connected art with his father. These days, not only do they paint lures together, but they travel to fishing tournaments, meet pro anglers and make the most of every minute together. It means a lot to me. Family means a lot to us. Jared wanted to do this, and it was his idea. That, and, I, and I told him, I said, you can do this. You don't need me. He said, I know I don't need you, but I want you. And, and I, I know I felt touched, and I thought, Okay, well, we'll do this together then. And so I get to have an amazing time to go to these tournaments. I get to paint next to him side by side. And not only that, he's a wealth of knowledge of things he can teach me still to this day. If you're going to leave it like this, you got to feather the edges. Otherwise, it will leave a line. At first glance, they are nothing more than plastic forms with paint sprayed onto them. But to Bob and Jared Decody, they mean togetherness and artistic expression and nothing would make them more proud than for you to take their artwork and throw it in a lake. Artists always like to build stuff. Always, you know, they like to do stuff. 
and they're proud of their work. They put their love and, and everything into their work, and that's what we do. What do you see when you see your lures? I, I see a, a miniature painting of mine. It's done differently, but it's an old piece of artwork that I created for somebody.